Hello guys, welcome to Indie Ninja Gaming. I am the Indie Ninja. Yeah. And today we are gaming some Academia School Simulator. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> now I'm going to admit, this is my second time trying to record this episode. The first time my uh, recording software decided to record my voice in both channels instead of recording my voice and the game sound. So I, it, it creates them in separate channels so I can auto one without the other. Very handy, but very annoying when it messes up. Should be working properly this time. So we're going to jump in. Now I'm going to change what I did on this one. I am. I'm going to change things up here. Now I'm sure many, many YouTubers do exactly the same thing here. But I'm going to do the Hogwarts badge. So I want the Griffin first. Where are ya? Oh, there you are. Then I need the snake. Oh. Then it is the badger. It looks like it's alphabetical. So that'll be handy in finding it faster. And this one is... Uh, it's the raven, isn't it? Oh, too far. Yeah, so it's uh, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Now, in the motto here, I'm going to take that from, from Harry Potter as well. Draco. Dorm. I've got it, I'm copying it off a bit of paper here. <laughs> I wrote it down first. Nun Draco Dormin Nunquium Titilan. Andus. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Draco Dormian Noquium Titalantus. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Which, I, the reason why I want that, I mean, I, this, the, the, you know, the, the logo here, just for fun. You know, why not? This, Quite handy, considering what this place is going to be. Oh. Okay, apparently, that brings up the console. Ah! Can I undo? No. Here we go again, console. There we are. Ah, Indy's School of Ninja. But be warned, never tickle a sleeping dragon. I spelt that completely wrong. <laughs> I have spelt that completely wrong. There we go. Now we just need to sort out colours. Now we can't have individual for each section, like with the Hogwarts one. But what I want to do... Hmm... Give that or that. I like that one better. I, like, I do. I like that that one better. Let's get on with it, shall we? Now, a lot of you may realise this is very reminiscent of uh, Prison Architect, and I believe I could be wrong. But I believe the person who did the artwork for Prison Architect did the artwork for this as well. Now we do have... But it's not by the same people, by the way. It's not. Now we do have uh, a to-do list. So we want to build office, hire principal, and so on. Before we even get started on that, I'm going to start laying out some uh, outlines here. Because I want to build the entrance. The entrance way into the school. Uh, outdoors. My previous attempt at recording this has helped me to grasp where some things are. But I'm still 
not a hundred percent where everything is on the layer on the uh, like where to find all objects yet so you'll have to bear with me if I have issues trying to find certain things right so this to come down like this this is gonna be a fence there oh no that's fine not a problem uh, so I'm doing one two yeah one two boom there I think that will look quite good so oh wait no no I've messed that up slightly boom 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 also, you have to bear with me. If I'm trying to do perform actions that I'm used to doing in Prison Architect, uh, <laughs> apologies for that. I'm just used to doing them. What if I did this and remove this? And by actions, I mean like in Prison Ar Oh, no, I don't like that. In Prison Architect, you could just right click to, uh, to erase things like the guidelines here but you can't do that in this one yeah that will have, that will do now this is I mean I did this in the previous attempt this entrance way and I really liked it so right here I'm gonna have a male statue there I'm gonna put him down here but flip him around so he's facing the opposite way and then up here I'm gonna do this opposite and across I'm going to do the same with the female. It's like inspirational, you know? Um, and then we need the paving. Now, this game is still in early access. So it's still under, the, under development. So you'll have to bear with any issues or bugs and things that are in the game. Uh, I have watched some game... Ooh, bulletin board. Does it? No, I want it like up against that. No. Oh, I had to put it on boards and doors then. That sucks. Um, fences. The reason why I want to do this, guys, is I have seen some videos on this before. And people have, the students have a tendency. Like, if I didn't do the fences, I've got this lovely walkway in and doors will be up here somewhere and they'll just like come in and then start cutting across the field here straight to the thing so I need I want them to be able to have to come along and then up the walkway otherwise it defeats the purpose of having it in the first place I'm not gonna bother with a fence because if I put one here and here They'll both open, like this one will open with the hinge on the left, so the middle of it would swing up and over this way. But then so will this one, and you can't flip it around. So I'm going to keep that as it is. Right, next up. Whilst we build, I'm going to have the builders here and start building this in normal speed. Right, so that will be outside as well. And then we're going to have the school around here. So, what do we actually need? Oh. What do we actually need? It's an office first, isn't it? Yeah. Office needs to be... Just indoors. No, uh... No thing. What? No room. No size requirement. That's the one. Oh. They've changed that. So if I did that. Yeah, no, it's no no designated size anymore. They've changed it. What I'm gonna do Right, this is six that way. Ah, this way. A six by six room here. 
and I want one on this side as well just for the symmetrical purpose and I'm going to use this left one here this one for a janitor's room now you should take note that there is no roo uh, roofing involved in this game so when they're outside but well, when you build build the walls it's counting it as inside when all the walls are in uh, what am I after walls and I was gonna do brick wall because I, I don't want like individual colors you know has to be this color or has to be this color I'm actually gonna a brick wall has multiple different colors involved and it's a little bit more I, I suppose it just looks a bit better you know boom all right so we need some doors we need staff door there and there also want a double door here because this will be the beginning of the school uh, outdoors get this continued up as well as fencing like so see now that looks nice I like that let's uh let's get rid of these lines shall we That looks pretty nice. I like it. The only thing missing... Hmm. That's what the bushes look like. Okay, so that's them. There. I think that will set it off nicely. Does that have our... Oh, you can't actually see it. It'd be nice. Could you imagine if, they, if the school motto was written on that? That would be so cool. Right, so, um, build. Give me build, thank you. Floors, now I want the, hmm, red. I want the, the principal's room to look really nice and, and, and uh, really, what's the word I'm looking for? Just just expensive looking, plush looking, really nice. So that when, when uh, parents who are looking at the school come in, they think, you know what? This school is really high end. <laughs> Trick them into bringing in their children. But the janitors, they just need like concrete. It doesn't matter much for the janitor room. Now, zone. We need the office. And we need the janitor room. Uh, objects. Office. So, we need the admin table which I'm going to see if I can fit in right there. It already comes with chairs. And I like how it shows you like where people are going to be sitting. You need a, a fax machine. Look, it shows you where they're going to use it as well. I think that's a really good idea. Like that. Um, where do we find... Windows. So this is what I mean. I don't know where everything is yet. Uh, no. Oh, that is something that we could put outside as well. You know what? No. I don't want it next to the statues though. All right, we'll leave that for now. But this room, I want go away. I want to be able to. I want to be able to put windows in, in the building as well. Come on. Where are you, windows? I know there are windows. On. Admin table, bench, bookshelf, bulletin board, ben uh, yeah, bench table, chair, chalkboard, clinic bed, clock. Oh, need a clock in here. Boom. Uh, computer, fan, fax machine, filing cabinet. 
Food, counter, kitchen sink, locker, medicine cabinet, office table, plate counter, potted plant, refrigerator, sink, stove, student chair, table, toilet cubicle, trash can, trash dumpster, urinal, water fountain, window. There we are. And we can either have it that way or that way. Oh, okay, that's designed for that way. One here. One here. And you know what? We'll give these two, the janitors some windows as well. Alright, so for inside the school. Um, you know what? Wooden flooring. Make it look a bit nice. And we need to do the janitor room now, don't we? Before I forget. Objects. Janitor's room. So we need kitchen sink, table and four chairs. A bit of a, it looks like a disco uh, table. Like a record. Um, there, down here. We'll do nicely. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Right, so next on our to-do list. Hire a principal. There we go. Build a freshman class, assign a teacher, build a kitchen, a cafeteria, and three cooks. How am I gonna do this? Uh, well, I zoomed in a bit quickly. All right, let's pause the game. So wall outline, let's just, I'm not gonna build all the way up here. I'm just, uh, just so I've got a basis here. Right. How big does a classroom need to be? Or does it not have a size? Again, this is different. See, before you'd have to build it and then assign it. It's 10 chairs minimum. Plus an office table and a chair. How big are the chairs? The desks, rather. Uh, student chair, there we go. So I take up one spot. And you can have more, of course. This takes up two. This takes up four. Okay. So, if we have the door, say here, we can have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Just there. There. So that's what? Nine, eighteen, thirty six. Then we'd have uh, like a chalkboard there on the teacher's desk. Right down here somewhere. All right, so let's uh, let's do that, shall we? I've got the way to walk in there, you know. So build walls. Should we make it double doors? Make it look a little fancy, you know. All right, let's get them started on that. Objects. Student chairs. I need to see which way around it's facing. There we go. Okay, I can't click and drag to place multiple. It does suck a little bit. But we'll get over it. Okay, we are eating into our budget quite quickly here. Chalkboard, like so. And we'll put the office table there. And 
I want flooring. Again, go for the wooden. Jeez, that's expensive. Uh, doors. Double door. What windows? I suppose we need windows, but I'm going to put them at the back here. That way. Oh no, we need to find them again. Where's the windows? There they are. There's the windows. If I have them at the back, then students who day because it lets in some light but also encourages daydreaming. If I put them at the back, it's gonna be obvious when people are trying to look out them because they're turning around. Now I'm gonna give the principal another window not there. Here. Just so he has it. Speed this up a little bit. Where's the speed up key? There it is. I was pushing number four, not number three. Well, are we about to finish day one? They've all just they've all run off. Hello? Ah, there we go. Yes, so we're now on day two. Whilst we are waiting. Ah, yes, look, we lost that amount for the day. Whilst we are waiting for them to do all that, I'm going to hire four janitors. So they can keep the place tidy. Right. Blueprint. Erase. Any outlines here? Build. Floors. At bare minimum, we need... No, I don't need underneath the walls. Minimum, minimum we need up there. Right. So we need to zone this now. Into a class. And it was freshman. And assign a teacher to the freshman class. Right, so let's have a look here. As I understand it, see these little uh, things here? They are degrees. So like how well educated the teacher, in the, in him or herself is. So, I mean, if you look down here, look, that's how this one is with each individual subject, how knowledgeable. A two, a tier two, and then a tier three. And then obviously, a tier three is going to be a lot more costly. Let's see. 4,000 signing bonus and 250 a day, 306 a day, and 381 a day. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and hire this teacher here. I want I want good, not, you know, I want them to do well off the bat. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hire you. Now, we have to be quite careful with our cash flow now. All we need left to do is a kitchen, a cafeteria, and a cook. All right. I'm going to go ahead, just real quick, guys, and plan out some more classrooms. And I will be back with you in just a second. You know what, actually, guys? I'm not going to do that this episode. Uh, given that... I just realised what how long this episode has been so far. I didn't mean it's gone quite as long. Um, but here's basically what I want to do. I want like classroom, hallway, classroom, and then the same on this side. It gives us the room we need to expand this way or this way when we want. So I'm going to leave it at this for now. Next episode, we're going to be building a kitchen and a cafeteria, potentially up here somewhere. Um... I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, this is starting to look quite nice. I'm really liking like the, how all this is looking. Let me know what you guys think. There will be at least one more episode before any comments that have been made can be put into effect. Um, but I, if you have any ideas or suggestions, go ahead, let me know. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. I am the Indie Ninja. And I'm out.